Your judge will be asked. Senator Miguel Spiri. Thank you very much. Um, so candidate number 14, uh, we all know how important being vaccinated is nowadays due to the pandemic. Um, I'm sure most of you, if not all of you girls, have been vaccinated to protect us from COVID-19. But if you have relatives and friends who are still unvaccinated, how will you convince them to be vaccinated? Well, thank you for that question. I truly believe that we need to take action to matter, especially during this pandemic where we have um, rampant issues such as COVID. And the best way to combat this is to come together and to use the best ways that have been created by us, which is that being vaccinated. And I would encourage them to not just do it for their own safety, but for the safety of others. Because by doing so, we would make this world a safer life. Thank you. Thank you. number 14. 43. Daniel Krishna. Pick a card. Your judge will be. Celeste Reyes. question for you. What makes health the greatest wealth of any man? Thank you. Well, now more than ever, I think we all realize how important it is and how um, uh, the true health or the wealth is the greatest or the health is the greatest wealth of everyone. We don't know what tomorrow brings us and so I suggest everybody to please take care of your health and of course take care of your family because they're our only source. And you know, I've always believed that our family is our greatest possession in life and that is truly the wealth in life. Thank you. Thank you, candidate number 42. Okay. Take a card, any card. My judge is Miss Genevieve Christine Montano. Hi, good evening. Hello. How are you? I'm wonderful, thank you. How are you? What is one thing that you need to overcome? One thing that you need to overcome is fear with your confidence and the fear of being rejected. I myself have suffered a lack of confidence when I was younger. I was, you know, I, I wasted a lot of my time being stuck at home because I was afraid of going out of my comfort zone. And I would tell my younger self even that if I could go back in time to overcome this fear because you have no idea what's out there and what's there for you. Thank you. Thank you, candidate number 38. We have candidate number 25, Danica Du. Hello, Catherine 25. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm good. I'm so grateful to be part of the 15 finalists. Perfect. So here's my question. How would you describe beauty and its importance to a blind person? I would describe beauty to a blind person by letting her or him imagine the love that he or she receives from the surroundings. I think that if we let them feel loved, cared, and respected, then they would be able to see the beauty even if they are not, they are not given a chance to see the world. Thank you. Thank you, candidate 25. Candidate number six, Shaila Remortera. Please take a card.
my judge would be Secretary Harry Rocket. Candidate number six. Good evening. The front runner in all the surveys for the post of president is a woman. If she were to ask you, um, should she run for president even if her children are very young, what advice would you give her? In the modern times right now, a woman is strong and brave in different ways. Other women are strong and brave because they sacrifice their career for their family. And if our um, candidate would like to pursue becoming a president despite sacrificing time for their family in exchange of serving the Filipino people, then I would definitely support that. Thank you very much. Thank you, candidate number six. Up on stage, we have candidate number four, Jamel Lewis. My judge would be Congresswoman Mikhail Smigzaisai. Ah, yeah. Hi. Hello, good evening. With the pandemic right now, what's more important? You having money or being safe and healthy? To me, honestly, during the pandemic, I've learned that there's nothing else more important than being safe. Because to me, nothing else matters than money when you have your family with you. And bringing your family into a very difficult situation could lead into a heartbreak. And I feel like there's nothing more that could hurt me more than losing a loved one. Thank you. Thank you, Cameron. Number four. Michelle Arceo. Your question will be asked by... My judge is Miss Anna Vicente. Hi, candidate number 10. This is my question for you. Um, would you rather live in a world without the pandemic or without... Sorry. Would you rather live in a word, world without pandemic or without corruption? I would pick a world without corruption because we are surrounded by it every day, everywhere we look, and it can really suffer the lives People every day suffer from it, and it can affect everyday people. And if we can eradicate that, we can solve so many problems, and we can get through a pandemic easily the next time we go about it. And we, the people, we need to be taken care of. Thank you. Thank you, Tatiana Austria. Judge asking your question will be. My judge is Sir Albert Bernyawan. Hello, good evening. Good evening, uh, Sir Albert. Yeah. My question is, in life, what should you follow? Your heart or your mind? I believe there's a reason God made humans the way we are, with our minds over our hearts, anatomically in the body. And so I think we should follow the mind to stay logical, to stick to our core, to our values, because the mind would ultimately influence the heart. And so that we can live our lives without having to step on other toes of the other people. And just to be a true person of purpose as well. Thank you. Thank you, Captain Eighteen. Tracy Maureen Banners. Asking your question will be. Miss Elise Hosson.
Good evening, Ms. Tatiana. How are you doing? Hello, Ms. Elise. It's Tracy. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Tracy. It's okay. Sorry, it's in the street. <laughs> My bad. Candidate number 36, Tracy, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm so excited for what's going to happen tonight and for the new queens to be crowned. Here is my question for you. After we go through this pandemic, what would you want us to learn from it? After this pandemic, I hope that we never take for granted the family that we have, taking care of our health and taking care of the people that protect us, our leaders, our frontliners. We should always give importance to those people. We may not see the efforts that they give out, but most definitely, they are our modern heroes. And for that, we should always be grateful. And we should always stick to them, stick with them, and pray for them. Thank you. Thank you, candidate number 36. Rihanna Pangindia. Judge is Mr. Joey Abaha. Hi, Rihanna. Hi, Dini. How are you tonight? I'm doing great, thank you. Okay. How are you? Rihanna, I'm okay, thank you. Rihanna, uh, because of the pandemic, I wanted to know if this changed your concept of being a modern Philippine. Definitely, this pandemic has changed my perspective on how we should live as Filipinos. And as a modern Filipina, I've learned to make ways to get through it. And that's when I started my small business, just to help my family because it is very difficult at this time. And so I think it's very important that we take every circumstance as an opportunity to learn and make the most out of it. Thank you. Thank you, Kendra. My judge is Senator Von Revilla. love and in war alike, that we should always prioritize empathy and the well-being of other people. So all is not fair if we are stepping on other people's toes or if we are acting in selfishness and vain conceit. And the only way to approach any situation at the optimum levels and to its utmost is if we consider the needs of our fellow man above our own and we live to love and to serve them and walk in compassion at all times. Thank you very much. Well we have candidate number 29, Anne Palmares. I picked Mr. TJ Marcus. Hi, good evening. Good evening, sir. So my question is, which would you choose? A man who plays it safe or someone who is spontaneous and wild? I would say I choose a man who is spontaneous and wild. After all, life is short. And with this pandemic, we are able to know that we should not take anything for granted. And with this, we can talk to people who 
can make us experience that life is worth living, even though it's short. Thank you. Thank you, candidate number two. Candidate number one, Leah Mahapagan. My judge is Commissioner Aldwin Allegra. Hi, Leah. Hi, sir. Good evening. If you will be given the chance to file your certificate of candidacy in this coming 2022 election, what position do you prefer and why? Well, as a woman, I believe that we can do even the seemingly impo impossible thing, especially a leader. And after this, being a beauty queen, I, I could also see myself as a public servant. And to all the women out there, we should not be afraid of taking a risk, of going out of your comfort zone. And if you're going to ask me that question, I would love to be the president of this country. Thank you. Thank you, candidate number one. On stage, we have candidate number 27, Trisha Martinez. Asking your question will be... Mike and I did. Hi, Trisha. Hello, sir. You're cruel? Uh, a little bit. Okay. This will be easy. What advice or message can you give the new generation of voters? In this time of crisis, my advice to people is that to keep on going on because though we, we all have dreams and at this time we might feel that our dreams are on hold but they are not gone with grit and determination those dreams will become a reality just hold on thank you thank you candidate number number 30 julie Ferrario. My judge would be Dr. Oh, sorry, Mr. David Licalco. Hi, Julie. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, my question is, what is the biggest sacrifice you ever had to make, and how did you handle it? The biggest sacrifice that I ever had to make was to give up on my dream of being a flight attendant simply because with what happened with the pandemic there will have been rich trends especially in the airline industry but i didn't i didn't let go i i just hold on and i started a business which is now helping me and my family and not only my family the economy of where this situation and also the people my employee and their family imagine that i'm able thank you so much Thank you, candidate number 30, Julie 